the video clipping you are about to view shows how science is taught in a very typical audiovisual strategy at Kabuluan Elementary School with Ma'am Prisca Domingo as facilitator. Watch it. <laughs> They seem to be related to a neuron's ability to regenerate injured parts. Neurons in the brain and spinal cord do not have neurolemma. They cannot regenerate injured parts. Any damage to these neurons is permanent. This one is the spinal cord. And these are the brain. It has two parts, the left hemisphere and the right. Hemisphere. So we were told before that the right hemisphere controls the left side of the body and the left hemisphere controls the right side of the body. So the brain looks like that. This is why brain and spinal cord injuries are serious. In a healthy brain and spinal cord unit, the chemical signals sent from the different sensory neurons are the same. An impulse sent from neurons in the toe is chemically identical to an impulse sent from neurons in the nose. But the impulses are received in different areas of the brain, which translate them as different experiences, such as smell, touch, and After the brain translates the impulses from the sensory neurons, it sends impulses back to the nervous system to produce a response. The response is a physical nobody action said, involving many died. parts of the body. The, the neurons responsible for carrying the response message throughout the body are motor neurons. They carry impulses from the brain and spinal cord oh, to the muscles neurons, and the brain. Muscles and glands which receive a response message are called effectors. In the muscle effectors, an impulse from a motor neuron produces a contraction. In the gland effector, an impulse from the motor neurons produces a secretion. When information is asked from the sensory receptors to the brain and spinal cord, and then back through the motor neurons, the pathway is called a reflex arc. The knee jerk is one familiar reflex arc. When the doctor hits the patient's knee, that is called Stretch receptors in the knee stimulate a sensory neuron which sends an impulse to the spinal cord. The spinal cord forwards the message to a motor neuron which carries the message to the muscles. Okay, so it, it never reaches the brain. Okay, it just reaches the spinal cord. And from there, the message is being interpreted. What, uh, what do you call that?